All right, so let's look at this one. This is a really small truss, um, but it's composed of three members, and we want to find the force in each of those three members, state whether it is in compression or tension. So my first step for most problems is to look at the whole free body diagram. So uh, I'm going to redraw this, and when I say whole free body diagram, it's, it's almost like it's, it's just a solid object, maybe this solid triangle, that has this 500 newton force, it has a rocker at C, so this would only have like a C, Y. And then there's a pin at A, so I would draw an A, X, and an A, Y. So let me look at the whole free body diagram to solve for A, X, A, Y, and C, Y. Right? A, X, A, Y, and C, Y. So by summing the forces in X, 500 minus A, X. And so A, X is negative 500. That negative doesn't mean compression or tension, especially for pins. That negative just means I drew it the wrong way. All right? So AX is 500 newtons, not that way to the left. You all know how I like for you to kind of draw a squiggly line through it and change the direction. All right, summing the forces in Y, I've got AY plus CY equals zero. Let me move on. Summing the moments. I think I want to sum my moments about A. A X goes straight through it. A Y goes straight through it. 500 is acting 2, creating a negative. And C Y is acting 2, creating a positive. Set that equal to 0. C Y is positive 500. Plug that back in up here. A Y negative 500. A Y is 500 newtons that way. All right, let me, I'm not, not really going to box these in because these, these aren't any final answers. This isn't what it's asking for, but in, this was a, a weird scenario, a 45 degree angle, so that's why they all came out to be uh, 500. But step one, many times, look at the whole free body diagram and solve for the pins and rockers and rollers and things like that. Now we're ready to move on to the truss part, right? That wasn't even had much to do with the truss. You could do that a while ago. Now let's use method of joints to kind of open it up and kind of dig down in here to find the forces in those members. The force inside each of those members was not, it, it doesn't show up in your whole free body diagram, right? The force inside each of those members doesn't show up in your whole free body diagram. In order to find the force in those members, you've got to kind of open it up. You've got to open it up and look at a joint, right? You've got to open it up and look at a joint. So try to look at a joint that has only two unknowns. And in this case, I think you could start with A, you could start with C, you could actually start with B. Um, any of those would only have uh, two unknowns. I'm going to start at A. So here's what we do. We're going to say, I'm going to look at A. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to look at that joint. So let's draw a dot right here that is A and draw uh, if there are any forces, like I just calculated, there was an AX and an AY of 500 to the left, 500 down, so let me draw that. I've got 500 newtons to the left, I've got 500 newtons down. Okay, now, I've got this member connected to joint A. It feels, the joint A feels it pin to pin, right? It feels it in the direction of the member, and I'm going to call this force in AC. Um, you could call it force in AC, force in CA, doesn't matter. But I, do you see that I just drew it? I just guessed tension. Tension is always pulling. I just guessed tension right there. And that's fine. If my answer comes out negative, it was, I guess, the wrong way. Same thing right here. The force in member AB, I know it's pin to pin. I know it's in that direction. It could be up or down. I just guessed tension. All right. Okay. And now you can sum the forces in the x direction. FAC minus 500 equals 0. FAC equals 500. All right. You probably could have just kind of seen that from that free body diagram at that point. My answer came out positive, which means I chose the correct I guessed tension, and so I'm going to say 500 newtons tension right there is a force in AC. Make sense? Now, I can sum the forces in Y. Sum the force in Y. FAB minus 500 
equals 0 FAB. Also 500, the math came out positive, which what does positive mean? Positive means you guessed correctly. I guessed tension, so this is tension. All right, now I can hop to another joint, right? I looked at that joint, I did what I could do, uh, and now I can hop to another joint. Let me hop to C. So here is joint C. I remember I had that rocker of 500 newtons up there. All right, now, I have already just solved for the force in member AC, right? I solved, it was right here. It was 500 newtons in tension. Do you see that joint A feels it to the right? Joint C is going to feel it to the left. A few reasons, right? Equal and opposite. Um, the main thing here is it's in tension. Tension, tension, tension. Tension is always pulling. So it is pulling at this joint, just like it's pulling at joint A. It's pulling at joint C with a force FAC of 500, right? Tension is always pulling. Tension is always pulling. Whether you're looking at joint A, joint C, uh, this would be 500 newtons right here. All right, then we have the force in member BC, and it is at a 45 degree angle. And I know it's in this direction. It could be pulling or pushing. I always like to guess pulling. I like to guess tension first. All right. And so now I can sum the forces in X or sum the force in Y. Sum the force in X. I've got, so now when we are summing the forces right here, my positives and negatives are according to axes. All right, let me, let me talk about this and think about this. Positive and negative is not about tension or compression when we are summing our forces in the X and Y. When we are summing our forces in the X and Y. When we're summing our forces, it's all about the axes. It's all about the axes. So this 500 right there is negative 500, not because it's tension, not because it's compression. It's negative because it's to the left, and I'm, you know, choosing X to the right. All right. All right, so sum of the forces in X. This would be negative 500 and the FBC cosine 45. Set that equal to zero. I would get FBC is equal to negative 707 newtons. What does that negative mean? That negative means I guess wrong. So I guessed it was pulling that way. Uh, it is actually 707 that way. Uh, FBC is 707 newtons compression, right? If you always guess tension, then when your answer comes out negative, it means compression, okay? All right, now, I don't have to come and sum the forces in Y, uh, because there's nothing else to solve for. But I could, and if I sum the force in Y, it should still come to zero. That's a good way to double check your answer. And then I could go up to joint A, and even though I've already solved for these, I could go to joint, sorry, joint B, even though I've already solved for these, um, I could sum the forces in X and Y at B and still come to zero. Many times, especially if, if you... If you uh, look at your whole free body diagram first, many times you might end up with three extra equations that you can use to double check your work to make sure everything is still equal to zero. All right, but there we go. That's it. Um, I boxed in these three things. Force in AC is 500 tension. Force in AB is 500 tension. Force in BC, 707 compression. All right. Okay, but that was a real small, simple... Um, um, trust there. Let's look at some more complicated ones.